Hi viewers, every single one of you, how you doing? I hope you're well. Um, I just want to show you the traditional method of farming, especially in the village, in the rural areas of Silet. The traditional way we used to do it about 30 years ago, I don't know. 30 years ago was when they used to have cows, several cows. The rice you could see, they used to chop off. They used to put it in a round circle in the forecourt of the yard, the Utan is called. And the cows used to go around in a circle, continuously in a circle. It would take many, many hours. And when the cow used to go in circles, it used to walk over this rice and used to break the rice and then they used to get rid of all the um, hay and throw it away and then it got rice as technology has moved forward agriculture has moved forward it's a lot more advanced now they do it in different ways a lot of farming is not used before like before before they used to use a lot of cows now they don't they have proper machines, they have proper tractors, they have all sorts of different machines to do the job. For some jobs, you still need manpower, man labor. So what we're doing today is, as you can see in this machine here, this is going to do most of the job today. So they're going to actually put these inside. As you can see, it's all chopped on the party field. And they're gonna put it inside the machine and it's gonna basically um, do everything for you. All the rice is gonna be extracted from here, blown out here, and it's gonna be put here. So it'd be quite interesting because I have seen the way they've done it back in the past and I have done it myself as a child when I used to come to Bangladesh. I used to spend many, many years because uh, my father, my late father, may Allah swat, I grant him the highest and the those. We were farmers, our families, our ancestors. We used to have a lot of people working for us in the 80s and in the early 90s. And we do have a lot of land in this area that we own. And most of the land now is just um, rented out to other people to take, to take care of it because we don't have the manpower and the force as before because we all live in UK and uh, we don't really come that much but they used to do everything themselves from even growing vegetables to do all the agriculture even fishing and everything so it's actually a nice experience I'm gonna be here I'm gonna see it for myself as you can see my uncles at the far end they're also doing it and now it is the harvest season for the uh, rice Dan Hatta, they call it Dan Hatta. I will go onto the paddy field probably tomorrow to show you the proper methods how they cut Dan. But uh, this is just mainly from one small plot. I think it's going to take several weeks while everything is completed. So let's see how they do things, guys. Go back to
না না তুলো কো Hi everyone. I hope you're well every single one of you. You might be thinking what am I doing? So as you know they're actually drying all the hay. So recently they chopped down from all the paddy field all the rice and now they're drying it all. As you can see this is all the hay. So they're going to use this for the cows and we're going to store it in another area and I might show you the area later on. And this side you can see behind me is all the come rice come that they're going to dry. So you can see all the rice and this is only just a small start because it's going to go on for at least about another four weeks and these are all the rice can you see guys from our paddy field so it's really quite interesting because I'm going to actually go to the paddy field and I'm going to see how they actually cook the rice ইতার কত দিন লাগবো আর এক সপ্তাহ লাগবো না ধান কাটা না তো তুলতাম না কত দিন লাগবো তুলতাম না তোমার না তুলতাম না তোমার কত দিন লাগবো এটা কাটা আর এক সপ্তাহ তারে ফয়সো সে দিছে তাই দই তো কি <laughs> <laughs>